Hello everyone, my name is Ivo and welcome to Cooking with the Koyas. Oh, about a year ago I shared a recipe, a great recipe for your basic bran muffin, which is delicious. Then a while ago I come up with a healthier version of that bran muffin and now folks I've got a third version which is even healthier because it uses no white flour at all. This version uses whole wheat flour. Let's go over the ingredients and let's get started right now. So let's start off by using wheat bran and I like to use 100% natural wheat bran. As I said, this particular recipe is nutritious and delicious. <laughs> okay, so I have there one and a half cups of wheat bran. And to that, we're going to add one, let's get a cup here, one and a quarter cups of buttermilk. One cup, and let's get our quarter. Oop, one and a quarter cups of buttermilk, in it goes. And all we're gonna do here, folks, is hydrate that bran. So just mix it all around. Okay, and, and just, keep, just keep mixing it until all the bran is coated with that buttermilk. Alrighty, that's looking pretty good. So now, quite simply, this just needs to sit for about five minutes while it hydrates. But while it's sitting, folks, we're gonna prepare our other ingredients. So let's just put this aside and let's get some dry ingredients going. So here folks, I have, as I mentioned, no white flour. This is whole wheat flour and I have 150 grams of whole wheat flour in there. And to that, I'm going to add one half a teaspoon of salt. So in goes the half teaspoon of salt. I have one teaspoon of baking powder. We're gonna add that. I have one teaspoon of baking soda. We're gonna add that. Okay, so those are our basic dry ingredients and just kind of whisk them all together. Okay, and now the other thing I wanted to do, which I should have done earlier, I have here two thirds of a cup of raisins, okay? And I'm gonna add some raisins, or some, <laughs> I'm gonna add some water to those raisins. There we go. And we're gonna let those raisins hydrate. So this way they get hydrated and they do not take any moisture away from our bran muffin. So I'm gonna put that aside as well and we'll just let those sit and hydrate. Now, I have some more dry ingredients to add, and here comes more of that uh, wonderful nutrition. I have one teaspoon of cinnamon, or sorry, I have one tablespoon, one tablespoon of cinnamon. Okay, cinnamon, folks, extremely good for you. I have three tablespoons of cocoa. Cocoa, folks, extremely good for you. So those are my other two dry ingredients. Now I'm gonna whisk those all together with that whole wheat flour and everything's gonna to start to become dark. These muffins will be chocolatey in color for sure, but they're not gonna be overly sweet. They're gonna have just the right amount of sweetness and we're gonna go over that. But basically you just whisk all those dry ingredients together and there you have it right there. It's, it's now become dark because of the extra nutritious cinnamon and cocoa. And yes, folks, it's very, very good for you. All right, so now that we have those done, our wheat bran has been sitting and hydrating. So now we can add our wet ingredients to our wheat bran. So I'm gonna start here, two large eggs. Okay, two large eggs, lightly whipped with a fork. Okay, we're gonna add the, add the large eggs into our wheat bran mixture. 
We are also going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. Uh, I like to use the pure vanilla as opposed to the artificial, but if all you have is artificial, it'll work just fine. Okay, and I know the pure vanilla is so much more expensive. Okay, so two teaspoons of vanilla. We are going to add, in keeping with the healthy theme, folks, yes, you can add um, vegetable oil. However, I like to add olive oil. Olive oil to me is a healthier choice. So why not go with the healthier choice and use olive oil with these baked brand muffins? So one third of a cup of olive oil. I also have here now one half cup of brown sugar. That's all you need folks for this recipe. Between the brown sugar and the raisins, it's gonna give just enough sweetness. However, if you have a sweet tooth, you definitely can use more than a half cup of brown sugar. You can use up to three quarter cup of brown sugar. But again, in keeping with our nutritious and delicious theme, half cup is really all you need. Now, there's one more ingredient that we have to add, and that, folks, is applesauce. I buy them in these little containers. You can make your own, of course. Uh, and I buy unsweetened applesauce, again, keeping with the same theme, uh, with no added sugar. This, I use one whole container here, which is about a half cup. So you're gonna add a half a cup of preferably unsweetened applesauce. All right, oh, there's a little bit more in there. I wanna get all that out because this helps with the moisture especially with the whole wheat flour and the cocoa and the cinnamon, they really draw the moisture out of the muffin. So that applesauce helps immensely, folks. Okay, so now quite simply, all you do is just mix all these ingredients together. Okay, and continue mixing until you have a smooth consistency and everything is incorporated nicely. Now, I would also like to say everything is incorporated nice, but if you could see there's these there are these brown lumps. Here's one here, I'll show you. See that brown lump there? Okay, that is some brown sugar that has just clumped up. So what I do is just take those brown clumps and I just, with my spatula, break them up against the edge. So as you're mixing, as you see those brown clusters, there's another one here. It's a bigger one. You see it there? So you just take that and break it along the edge. That way there's no big clumps of sugar in our bran muffins. That's looking pretty good. So now what we could do is add our dry ingredients. So we're gonna take our whole wheat flour mixture and just add it all in. And same thing, you're gonna to wanna to mix this together and continue mixing until all that flour has been incorporated into our mixture. So just continue to mix until it's all mixed in. Spatula works great here because you can scrape the edges. Make sure you grab from underneath. You don't want any clusters left behind. As you can see, it's starting to come together. Okay, now if I grab from down below, and I'm noticing that at this point, all the flour has been incorporated. Great. Okay, so that part's done. Now we're gonna take our raisins that have been hydrating. I'm gonna drain that water, drain the water, the excess water out of the raisins. So they're still gonna be damp when we use them. And again, that's perfectly fine. So take, take your raisins. I like to sprinkle a little at a time, kind of fold them in. Okay, a little more, fold them in, grab from the bottom, and just continue. And this just helps make an even distribution into our batter. 
Grab from the other side, fold, add more raisins. Raisins, folks, too, are also very, very good for you. A few a day, of course, right? Everything in moderation, but a few a day, definitely good for you. So having a few mixed in with our bran muffins is perfect. There we go. Raisins are all added. Now, in keeping with the healthy theme, we are also going to add, I have here half a cup of chopped walnuts. If you don't like nuts as much, you don't have to use them. But again, it's another healthy choice. Um, you could use as little as a quarter cup or as much as a half cup. I like my walnuts, so I'm going to use a half cup if you want. And they're, they're chopped. I've chopped them up. Um, you could use also chopped almonds. That's a nice healthy choice as well. Basically, you could use whichever nut you prefer, but try to keep to a healthy one. Okay, so again, I spread a little, fold it in, grab from the bottom, and then let's put the remaining. There we go. All right, all our nuts are now added. Our raisins have been added. I'm just going to continue just to fold a little bit to make sure that everything is distributed properly. Try to get it evenly distributed as you can. Oh yeah, this batter, folks, is going to make a fantastic brand muffin. Healthy, like I said, nutritious and delicious. Seriously. Okay, there we go. Now, time to preheat the oven. Let me preheat the oven. We're going to preheat it to 375 degrees. So while our oven is preheating, we can start to fill our muffin cups. And this recipe, folks, will make large, uh, nine, <laughs> it'll make nine large muffin cups. Okay, so I like to use, you could use a tablespoon. I use this soup spoon, which is really, really nice. And I just go around and start to fill my muffin cups. I make my way around and I, you know, I try to fill them as, as evenly as I can and trying not to uh, spill some along the way like I just did. <laughs> okay, I'll get that cleaned up. Okay, and make your way around. Okay, once I've made my way around, I go around again. And again, try not to spill like I just did. That's okay, we'll get those cleaned up, folks. It's no worries. There's nothing like a homemade bran muffin. The ones you buy at the store, they might have preservatives and additives. These folks have nothing in them except what we put in, which is all, which are all very healthy and wholesome ingredients. Okay, I've already gone around twice, but now I'm going to start to top up. We're going to use all this batter. There's not much batter left. And then when I get close to the end, I try to take a look and see which one needs a little more a little more help. Okay, so when I get close to the bottom as I am now, I use my spatula and scrape. You can see how much I've scraped here. It's quite a bit actually. And then I use my spatula to just kind of go around and top up. Put a little more there. Maybe a little more there, and uh, get that remaining little bit can go in there. All right, now that we're all cleaned up, I'm going to add some large oatmeal, some large flakes of oatmeal. This is optional. I keep it in a in a little container, and uh, I like to add. They don't they don't have to be large flakes, folks. Any any uh, oatmeal that you have. Um, preferably not the sugared kind in the little package. <laughs> Again, we're keeping with our healthy theme here. And as you know, oatmeal is good for you. So we're going to add a little oatmeal to the top. Again, this is optional. Um, 
it adds a little bit of nutrition, but it, it also makes the muffins look nice. It adds some character to the top of our muffins. So why not do it? Okay, in fact, if you notice even on the package, they show the uh, oats being used on muffins. Okay, and that's enough, just a little bit on the top. All right, as soon as our oven finishes, oh, our oven just preheated, there we go. I just heard the, the, the jingle, these can go in. So with our oven preheated to 375, in go the muffins. And every oven is a little bit different. So I'm gonna say anywhere from 17 to 20 minutes. For my oven, it's 17 minutes. So we're gonna let these cook 17 minutes and we'll come right back at you. Okay, so our 17 minutes are now up. Oh, look at there, folks. Now you're talking. Piping hot, right out of the oven. 17 minutes. Again, now, the reason I mentioned different ovens, different cook times, the smaller the oven, the quicker the cook time. So I cooked mine in my small oven this time, 17 minutes. In my larger oven, it might have taken closer to 20. So you'll be able to tell, but right now we have to let these cool down. I'm gonna let them cool. We'll let them cool down. And then of course, folks, I'll take myself a nice little coffee break and we'll do the taste test, but they're looking delicious. So folks, it's time to take a coffee break. These have been cooling ever so nicely. I've already made my selection on the brand muffin that I would like to dig into. And I use paper uh, wrappers. I like to use the paper as compared to the uh, silicon ones. Uh, and then I just put them in the compost. Uh, we have a recycling program and they compost up nicely. But I think what I'll do, folks, is I will take a bite. I will start with the stump and I'll save the best for last. Hmm. Beautiful. Hmm. Got the chocolatey flavor. A hint of cinnamon. Hmm. Of course, it tastes the raisins and the, and the walnuts. And it's not overly sweet. Hmm. Folks, to me, that's absolutely perfect. Just enough sugar. I mean, if you have a sweet tooth, like I said, you could add more, but, but why? This is absolutely perfect the way it is. Hmm. It doesn't fall apart, it holds together nicely. It has good flavor. It's good for you. It goes great with coffee. Hmm. Hmm. These folks as well, they freeze if you need to freeze if you're by yourself or you're the only one eating them. Because I like to have one a day. I have one a day every day. But if it was just me, maybe I would freeze half of them. But they keep in the fridge very nicely and they also freeze very, very nicely. Salute. Oh, that nice espresso. Okay, but okay, I'm not suggesting that you put the chocolate chip cookies away anytime soon because they are delicious, of course. But you know what? So are these. Not only are they very tasty, but they're also very, very good for you. So why not try making muffins? In fact, these are going to be my go-to muffins from here on in, as long as I have the applesauce. If I don't have the applesauce, I'll revert to my very first recipe. If I do have the applesauce, I'll revert to this one because really, really good and good for you. Wherever you're tuning in from, thanks for spending time with me today with Cooking with the Koyas. And until next time, bon appetito. Hmm. What a treat.